हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ आई एम लोगो जोगी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड एम एस इन एग्रीकल्चर सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेशलाइजेशन सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एच एन बी जो सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी सीनगर उत्तराखंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई हैव गॉट फिफ्टी टू रैंक इन पी एच डी प्रोग्राम सीड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च आई सी आर ऑल इंडिया एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन फॉर एडमिशन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट द टॉपिक sugar wheat climatic requirements sugar wheat is a herbaceous long day biennial and requires two seasons to produce seeds in the first season the plant develops a rost of leaves and the fleshly tap root and in the second season in flowers and produce seeds cool temperature below 7.5 degrees celsius for 50 to 60 consecutive days is essential for inducing the reproductive phase of growth madsons 1974 however the period may extend beyond 60 days depending upon the variety further the requirement may be also very considerably and is less if the average temperature is below 7.5 degrees celsius thus the sugar wheat seed can be produced only at high altitudes altitudes in the india land requirements land to be used for seed production shall be free of volunteer plants isolation requirements sugar wheat is a cross pollinated by wind or insect pollen normally shed over a period of weeks therefore chance of contaminations due to outcrossing are prolonged the sugar wheat seed fields shall be isolated from fields of other varieties of same variety not conforming to varieties purity requirements of certification and fields of seeds charts spinach wheat and garden wheat at least to by 5 meters at mother root production stage and by 1600 meters and 1000 meters at seed production stage for foundation seed and certified seed stage respectively method of seed production There are two method of producing sugar wheat seeds. First, in situ method, overwintering method. Second, transplanting method, staking methods. Sorry, staking methods. In the overwintering method, the crop is overwintered in the field, and the crop flowers in situ. after the necessary thermal inductions the stigling method the selected stiglings root are lifted at the end of the first season and stored in so trenches for overwintering these stiglings are replanted to produce seed in the following spring seasons before replanting one third of the root tip is chopped and the top is also removed so as the retain about 10 cm top leaves brief culture practices agronomical practices specific for seed growing reasons should be sterilized for best result the following may be used as the guide or line one preparation of land good land preparation is necessary the field should be plugged once and harrowed two to three times followed by leveling adequate moisture in the field at the time of sowing is necessary for obtaining good germination two type of sowing sowing should be so planted planted that 
tecklings get fully developed before the severe winter therefore in the areas of heavy snow fall mid june is the best time of so for sowing while in areas of low snow fall a july sowing is ideal three source of seed for sowing often nucleus are wider are seed or foundation seed from and foundation seed for production of certified seed crop from a approved source for method of sowing ridge sowing is normally recommended for sugar wheat in areas where the dry climatic prevents flat sowing may also be done spacing row to row 6 60 cm plant to plant 15 to 20 cm in situ group in situ crop sorry to transplanted crop first for rising stickling 45 cm row to row 10 cm plant to plant to for transplanting stecklings 60 cm r to r 45 m plant to plant six seed rate a in set to crop 5 to 6 kg per hectare for monogram varieties 10 kg per hectare for multi germ varieties b transplanted crop for rising stecklings 10 kg hectare for monogram varieties 10 to 20 kg for multi germ varieties stecklings from a 1 hectare are sufficient to plant 7 to 8 hectares of seed fields seven fertilization the commercial crop of sugar wheat require 100 to 150 kg nitrogen 150 kg of nitrogen 50 kg phosphorus and 150 kg 150 kg of potash sorry in seed crop apply 50 to 60% of the commercial crop nutrient requirement before sowing in the nursery and 125 to 150% for commercial wheat crop in the seed field apply full phosphorus potash and half nitrogen at the time of stickling planting the remaining half nitrogen should be applied after 40 days 45 days when the leaves start developing in addition to npk the application of borax at the rate of 20 kg to 30 kg per hectare has been found useful in preventing canker borax also help in good root development at irrigation irrigation of the field at flowering time has been found very useful at other times irrigate the seed field as demand necessary nine interculture keep the field free of weeds for at least the first 60 days the first weeding and interculture should be done when the crop is about 4 to 5 weeks old the second weeding should be done after 60 days the use of weeding ya yeah, weedy sites such as betamin and pyramin at the rate of 2 kg per hectare 30 days after sowing and before emergence respectively has been found useful 10 plant protection the combined attack of uh, curly top and virus yellow may be quite damaging the control of these disease depends upon control of the insect carries in the diseased plants if any in the field should be removed from time to time for controlling sarcospora spray spray regularly regularly with copper fungicide for controlling cut worms in yearly stages of growth apply 5% bsc dust at rate of 10 kg per hectare at the time of planting roging the diseased and off ties plants must be rogued out from the field roguing of diseased plants yearly boltars off ties plants from time to time in stickling method before transplanting sort out all undesirable stickling such as diseased 
malformed and those not conforming to varietal characteristics and reject them harvesting threshing and storage of seeds the seed crop can be harvested when two thirds of the seeds are ripe at this stage seeds at the base of the branches mature and turn noticeably brown ripe seeds sometimes setters but if plants are pulled early in morning when moist setting is prevented harvesting should be usually be done by hand as moving is not satisfactory because ripening is uneven two to three hands harvesting are often necessary in regions with frequent rain plants should be tied into bundle and curled in stalks and left until hard and mature rain does not hard seed but may discolor it when cutting swiss to thresher care in handling is necessary to avoid shattering seed can be threshed with a ordinary grain threshers combines can also be used for threshing rogue killing with thinning meal remove all certain seeds weeds and stalks it is to remove excess moisture maximum drying temperature should be not exceed 40 degrees celsius the seeds should be dried to 9 to 10% moisture for safe storage after killing seeds may be rubbed and graded with the help to for suitable machines seed in average seed in varies at 8 to 10 quintal per hectare seed production of hybrid varieties there are two types of sugar beet hybrids first diploid hybrids second triploid hybrids first diploid hybrids varieties this hybrid seed of sugar beet is produced by utilizing cytoplasmic and genetic factors that conditions sterility this is called of four way hybrids or double cross hybrid which is comparable to that used in hybrid corn production as can be seen from the diagram for inbred line are required for the production of the four way hybrids line a and v are monogenes monogerm o types with line a being the male strain strain equivalent a seed parent in the commercial hybrid the hybrids between lines c and d is produced by planting the two lines in inter, uh, alternate rows the hybrid between c and d which is multigerm multigerm is mixed with the, the monogerm a multiply b parent to constitute the stock seed for commercial production 10% seed of the pollinator is usually mixed for raising of hybrid seed crop the hybrid seed production field isolated from other bit fields the isolation distance is kept at 3000 meters all the a and a multiply b seeds which is mono germ which is harvested in the commercial field will be hybrid and can be easily separated from the multi germ pollinator seed by using thickness grading with the cylindrical stalled stalled screen the production of hybrid seed is rather simple process after the inbred line have been selected second triploid hybrids triploid hybrids could be produced in following two ways first triploid hybrid produce from diploid male strains the prebasic materials consists of a diploid 
melisline line a diploid pollinator o types and tetraploid f1 cross are mixer of f1 crosses the basic seed is produced in isolated fields 3000 meter the male sterilized seed is produced by planting out rows of male sterilized a pollinator line o types in the ratio of 4 ratio 2 or 6 ratio 2 the pollinator row are removed before the seeds is harvested from the female rows in entire field is checked plant y plant for sterility and genetic purity in the female rows the seed of tetraploid f1 cross or mixer of f1 crosses is produced in a isolated field strict rogging and inspections is necessary for ensuring genetic purity basic seed produced in the manner outlined above is tested for varietal purity sterility and ploidy prepare to its use for certified seed production certified seed is the produce is an isolated field 3000 meters 6 female rows diploid male line alternating with two male row tetraploid f1 cross and mixer of f1 crosses are planted out the male row are eliminated before the hybrid seed is harvested from the female row strict rogging for removal of of types is done to ensure purity for the production of tetraploid monogerm hybrids it is possible to use a mixer of the female and male parents the pollinator in this case javier is the multi germ tetraploid stock a to 10% seed of pollinator is usually mixed for raising a hybrid seed crop the multi germ seed of the pollinator is later removed by thickness grading second tetraploid hybrid seed produced from tetraploid male line monogerm parents these hybrid are no being introduced but the handling of tetraploid male line is difficult thanks